Oh, hey guys, um, just want to show you real quick a uh, little something I started this week. Uh, with the new introduction of that new crawler that's going to have the transfer case in the middle and the transmission in the front. Uh, a lot of people were saying that, you know, that could have been a good idea had they done a way to underdrive the front or the rear. And I uh, figured I could do that pretty easily. So I went ahead and built this little case. This is obviously not the one that would be mounted on any of the crawlers. Uh, this was just to kind of show that it could work. I'm obviously going to have to design this to where it'll adapt to the skid plate or make the skid plates, you know, a piece with this one. But um, I went ahead and used the little C output shaft and the barrage output shafts with their respective uh, gears. And uh, what that does, it gives me two different speeds coming out of these shafts. Uh, transmission will go in the front, obviously. It will connect to either one of these. And then if you were to connect the transmission here and then the drive shafts to this one, then you're actually speeding up those axles from what the transmission is doing because this is a bigger gear than this one. If you will connect the transmission to this side over here and the drive shafts to this side, then you're getting a further reduction in your gear ratio. So the crawler is going to go even slower than what the transmission is doing. Um, if you were to connect, let me see, you connect up to, doo -doo -doo, I'm gonna go, okay, connect your transmission to here, and then connect the rear to here, yeah, connect the rear to here, and then the front to here, then the front axle will go faster, and the rear will be slower. So the, the rear will get the speed coming out of transmission and then this the front would actually go faster because of this uh, difference in gear ratio here. If you did the opposite, then you know connect transmission here and then the rear here and the front here, then the front will go slower than what the rear would do. So there's very little reason why you would do that. But I'm sure somebody out there is going to do it. But um, uh, the best way to go is just to kind of make the front faster than what the rear is. And that way that the turning radius is going to be smaller because it's actually trying to pull you to the side. while the, the bag is kind of dragging a little bit because it's not fast enough. So this would actually work really well in that situation. Um, this is something that I may adapt to work with my tractor because I can actually make up for the difference on the tire size the rear being so big and the front being so small I could actually use something like this to speed up that um, front tire to match the, the covered distance that the rear tire has and that will actually make that front axle functional instead of just dragging along with the rear pushing on it but um, pretty much that's what this is this um, Ah, it came off. <laughs> there. This is just going to be an underdrive, overdrive um, transfer case. And uh, if anybody's interested, I mean, like I said, I, I use these axle, I mean, this output shaft because it's what I had in hand. But um, if anybody knows that of, of any other gear that fits onto the barrage um, output shaft, then let me know and I'll, I'll try that one out and you know if, of course if it's different ratio than this one uh, perfect scenario will be something as big as the Lossy but the Lossy doesn't have the same kind of uh, adapter like this hex as the Barrage does and I don't like the fact that the Lossy is so far up in the front and so short in the back you see the difference between these it doesn't give you a lot of room to play with to be able to put your trash ass in there but um, I'll go ahead and start working on this, trying to make um, the skip plates for them. And uh, if anybody's interesting, and you know, if anybody likes it, then I'll, I'll go ahead and post it at my Shapeways. If not, then at least it's something that I'll have that I could be able to show, you know, some videos of it working on my rigs. Uh, like I said, more than likely, this mm, this will go to the tractor. I want to try that and see if I can make that chassis to where it will can accept something like this. We'll see. We'll see. Maybe it's not going to be as hard as I make it out to be. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys.